West Africa, made up of many countries which became independent after long years of colonial rule. However, after gaining independence, not many countries achieved economic development and some of them are among the poorest countries in the world. The reason for this poverty is the low school enrollment rate. For example, the primary school enrollment rate in Niger in 2004 was 52%. In particular, the school enrollment rate for girls was less than 40%. To lessen the family burden, many parents thought that girls don't have to go to school because one in three girls got married by the age of 15. Against this backdrop, in West African countries, an attempt was made to improve education by decentralization. At the core of this attempt was the School Management Committee. This was made up of teachers, parents and the local community who were given various roles in school management. However, this type of structure did not function well when it was first launched. <laughs> To allow the community and other stakeholders to build a school together, that is the School for All project. It was first necessary to make a place where everybody could freely express their opinions and create a transparent structure. To realize this, democratic elections were introduced and the members of the school management committees were chosen by the community. As a result, those elected and large numbers of people who participated in the elections came to be interested in school management. They consider what aspects of school management need improving, by when and how. The answers lie in the school action plan. According to this plan, as many community members as possible hold a community meeting to discuss school management problems such as enrollment and school facilities. They draw up a specific plan of what they can do themselves and then carry it out. By this process, information sharing between the school, residents and parents was improved and the community made the school action plan their own. Community participation, such as providing resources or work, was encouraged. The system required to maintain these activities in the community is that of monitoring. Monitoring consists of internal monitoring and external monitoring. Internal monitoring is carried out by the school management committee. School Management Committee members monitor whether the planned activities are carried out as scheduled and whether there are any problems. Based on the monitoring results, the improvement strategies are planned and reflected in the next plan. This gives rise to a good activity cycle. External monitoring is carried out by an education officer responsible for the School Management Committee. He directly checks the state of the committee and if there are any problems or difficulties, he gives advice and reports the situation of the committee to the Education Ministry. The Federation of School Management Committees was established to assist information collection by an education officer. 
In the Federation, representatives of the school management committee for each municipality or district come together and share information about its activities. Information from each committee can now be more reliably and regularly collected. ミス選挙学校活動計画モニタリング。この三つの要素を組み合わせることによって住民が学校運営に参加するようになり、関係者の信頼関係が生まれました。それが住民動員や学校からの支援の増加につながり、結果として学校のインフラ、教育への access が改
problem is how school grants should be used. Injection of external funds into the running of a school which people built with their own resources helps activities, but complicates fund management. If a school grant is monopolized by one group, management transparency disappears, corruption occurs, and the trust painstakingly built up in the school management committee may be lost. Hence, in this project, we developed a community audit mechanism for school grants. Sharing every detail about school grants at the committee meeting has brought about checks by the whole community. Therefore, transparency of the management is maintained, improper use is prevented, and the school grant is used properly. With proper management of school grants, Everybody involved in the school management committee has learned how to carry out projects effectively with this money and improve the quality of education. By knowing how to manage and utilize, it was possible to get better results in reaching the objective. The Federation of School Management Committees, which was conceived so that education officials could effectively monitor the schools, regularly holds general meetings and carries out activities. It therefore plays a central role in the network, linking education authorities with the schools. The method which makes maximum use of this networking function and improves education over a wider area of regions and districts through the network is known as the forum approach. In the forum approach, the Federation of School Management Committees and local administrative authorities come together, discuss common problems such as improving the enrollment rate and learning abilities, and decide objectives which must be reached. Regarding improvement strategies, the participants pledge to carry out activities they can do themselves. This pledge is transmitted to school level via the network of the Federation of School Management Committees and the activities are implemented in each school. Thanks to this network, the voice of the community reaches the education authorities directly and by this synergy effect, educational development takes place according to local needs. みんなの学校モデルは関係者間の情報共有、学校運営の透明化、そして子どもにより良い教育を受けさせたいという人々の強い思いに直接応えることをその戦略の中心に据えています。だからこのモデルではどんな国のどんな環境でも適用可能で多